While many are excited about a potential return to normal, others are feeling a little anxious about what that new reality might look and feel like. A Vancouver psychologist Dr. Jyoti Samra is joining us now with some insight. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk today. Good morning, Sonia. Lovely to, to be with you again. Absolutely. Now, this pandemic, as we know, has already heightened anxiety for countless people. But how do you think those feelings of anxiety are going to be impacted when we see more restrictions lifted? Yeah, great question and something that many of us have our mind to these days. The reality is we know that collectively the pandemic has quadrupled our anxiety rates population wise. And we know now while the changes are going in the direction that we've all been waiting, hoping, anticipating and wanting, it's not without concern, right? These are confusing times, as cliche as that may sound, uh, but the reality is we're still unsure and there's a lot of things that are uncertain and we know as human beings when we are faced with things that are unpredictable, out of our control and which we can't predict that that very naturally leads to this sense of anxiety and that's an adaptive response. Our brain and body is doing its thing to scan for all the pieces of information and make sure that we are approaching things in a way that best matches our own individual circumstance. For sure, and everyone is going to be going at a different pace. What kind of advice would you offer to people as we navigate these next few months and the changing emotions that many of us are going to feel? Yeah, I'd say perhaps the most challenging one for most of us is going to be navigating those differences in opinion that we have, whether it's our immediate family, our extended friend groups, you know, those in our work environments. Uh, the reality is there's no perfect answer. We have guidelines, we have direction on what we can do, um, and we're polarized, we're tired, we're exhausted, we're irritated by everything that's been happening with COVID. And what I just encourage all of us to do is be first very self-aware of what our own individual and extended family needs are, what we are comfortable with, and then approach others that may be approaching things in a different way from a place of compassion, kindness, and ultimately respect. And I think we all need to remind ourselves that we can agree to disagree on some things right now, but we want to be thoughtful of how we express our opinions. For sure. And I think for a lot of people, just thinking about having some of those conversations just brings on that sense of anxiety because especially with loved ones or close friends, you know, you don't want to push them away if you have varying opinions. Well, absolutely. And we, you know, we have a fundamental need to belong and uh, that means we kind of go with the norm, right? Peer pressure is a real thing. And, and the reality is we want to go along with the norm of those that matter most to us. And it can be very uncomfortable and very anxiety provoking. In fact, if we feel like what we are wanting to do differs from others that we may otherwise love and care about and, and respect tremendously. And Dr. Samra, just one last thing, because with the anxiety also comes a lot of grief for loved ones who have passed on or are still recovering from COVID-19. And I think maybe that's something we all need to be cognizant of. Absolutely right, right. And, and you know, I think the urge is for all, you know, all of us want to be kind of free to get back to the life that we had. But I, for us to be very compassionate and understand that many, many are still continuing to struggle in tremendous ways. And I think we just want to keep that front and center in our mind. Uh, and that includes all the kinds of things that we're doing when it comes to posting on social media and communicating what we're doing. And just a little bit of caution is uh, well advised. Great advice, Dr. Jyoti Samra joining us today. Thank you so much for uh, taking the time to talk to us.